What's up everybody, Brad back here from Driven Tech, and today I just want to run through a quick little walkthrough of how to check some older components in a laptop that may be slowing down a little bit. So things like RAM, hard drive, and uh, possibly even taking off the bottom cover to replace something like a broken CD drive, uh, and then dust it out, all that kind of good stuff. So without further ado, let's, let's perform some surgery. Mm. All right there, boys and girls. So first things first. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that your computer is off and unplugged from a power source. Uh, this is going to be especially important because we're about to take out a battery. Now, this is a, uh, a donor laptop that I received because uh, there's a problem with the power port over there. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, it's, it is on that side. Anyways, power port over there. Um, it's actually broken. It was dropped while it was plugged in. So it's, uh, it's, it's kaputskis. Anyways, uh, so on this one, and uh, maybe a little difficult to see, but right up here, they make it nice and easy for you. It says uh, ODD HDD memory. So that's going to stand for optical disk drive, hard disk drive, and memory. So there's one teeny tiny little Phillips head screw, and this is where having a screwdriver kit, much like this one, like a jeweler screwdriver set, is going to come in really handy. Uh, so let's get started. So for this one, I'm going to use the number double zero and simply insert here into the Phillips head and just pressing down a little bit of pressure and then twist it out just like any other Phillips head screw. Hooray! So as you can see that comes out and then you just slide it out, open it up, boom! There it is! So. From the bottom here, you see a couple of things. This is your hard disk drive, and this is your memory. Now, for the memory, it's pretty much, since this is a so dim slot, it's pretty much always gonna have these little tabs here, and all you gotta do is press those out, and the memory module will pop up, and then you just remove it out. So as you can see here, a little dusty, uh, this one is a Samsung four gigabyte stick, and it will give you pretty much all the information that you need right in here. And I'll get a little bit of more of a close-up shot of that here in a second. Uh, so this is a PC3. Uh, and then it's going to give you s some different numbers here. And you can actually look up online what that model is. Pretty much all SODIM memory is going to be fairly similar. This is a DDR3 SODIM. Uh, and usually you'll see a little indicator right on one of these two uh, memory receptacles there as to what type of memory that it's going to take. So to get the hard drive out, it's a little bit more complicated, but still fairly easy. So you got a screw here. And get that out. Fantastic. You got a screw over here. And it's got these little arrows on the, on the hard drive bracket that make it pretty easy to identify what you're taking out. And then a screw here. And then uh, when I'm doing a larger job, like actually taking a, a laptop entirely apart, it's actually really helpful to have like a little craft organizer uh, with different slots in it so that you can organize your screws. So as you, as you can see, this just, uh, oh, and then we got one more little guy hidden right in here. So yeah, it'll help to take that out because otherwise we ain't going nowhere. All right, so this will now just lift out. Okay. And you'll, you'll see this screw here is a little bit bigger. Uh, actually, let me show you here. A little bit, quite a bit bigger than the other ones. Uh, so you can see the size difference there. Just remember that uh, before you try and screw everything back together because otherwise <laughs> it is not going back together. And then as you can see, this has a small connector here and you just pull straight out. And that's it, there's your hard drive. Now this hard drive is still good. Um, this is a 500 gigabyte. Um, and uh, even says right here, it's a 5400 RPM. So you have uh, a couple of different options with this. You can either go with a faster hard drive, 7200 RPM, or you can go with an SSD. Now an SSD is gonna run you quite a bit more for a 500 gigabyte. In fact, uh, give me just a moment here to check what uh, those are actually going for. Um, but yeah, so SSDs are definitely going to cost more for that kind of a size difference. Uh, 512. 
So you can actually expect to pay, you know, probably less than $100 for a traditional hard disk drive, uh, much like that. Um, but for an SSD, you're looking at paying around 180 to, uh, you know, two, a little over $200, depending on the, the SSD that you choose. But it is going to give you a considerable speed boost uh, when you upgrade that. Uh, now, it is important to go ahead and make a, uh, you know, if you have an external drive, uh, go ahead and uh, if you have the ability to, if your computer's not dead like this one is, uh, go ahead and make a full backup, a, a clone of your operating system and all your important files. That way, you can just, once the new drive is in, plug in the external, go ahead and reinstall Windows, and then uh, restore from that full backup. And that's going to put you basically right back to where you were before. Like I said, it's going to be quite a bit faster. Now, on this one, now let's see if I can show you that here. So right here it says optical disk drive. So again, they've made it very, very simple to actually remove. So we'll go ahead and put our little screwdriver in here. Now a lot of computers nowadays are not coming with these disk drives anymore. Uh, and there is a good reason for this. Uh, because so much now is just downloadable content and programs. That you don't really need a disk drive like this. Uh, now, this they make this one very simple. There's actually a SATA port back here uh, for power and data. And it just plugs right in just like that. So this is very, very easy to remove. And this is also helpful if, uh, for whatever reason, you actually get a disk stuck in the drive somehow, uh, which <laughs> has happened. Uh, you can actually kind of really get into this much easier. Now, you can also, there should be a little button right in there. Let's see if I actually have a drive screwdriver small enough. There's a little button. It's going to be right here. And you can actually press in. And looks like my screwdriver is too big. Let me see if I have a paper clip sitting around. Which I know I do somewhere. Uh, let's see. Do do do. <laughs> Bear with me, folks. Here we are. Whoop. I'm just going to throw that wherever the heck I want to. All right. So a paper clip. Insert it in. I heard it kind of engaged there. Should it? Oh, yep. And there we go. And so that, that is actually a release uh, for the drive. Uh, and that's very, very helpful if a disk gets stuck without removing it. But if uh, for... Also, if your drive has broken and for some reason that is not able to engage, that is how you would get a stuck disk out. So, let's say you've uh, gotten this thing out. You've gone on eBay and said, all right, got myself a new hard drive. I've got myself a you know, new stick of memory or more memory uh, in this case, which is also advisable to speed up your computer. Uh, since this is a four gig stick, you can actually add another four gig stick in the top slot there and uh, still achieve a considerable speed boost. So you'll insert the drive back in there. Take our handy dandy screwdriver. Uh, I apologize for all of the crazy sayings. You know what? No, I don't. I am who I am. So we line up the line up the tab here, which that one was not, which makes things a little difficult. FYI. So we'll line up the tab there. And screw that bad boy back in. Okay. Just make sure it's nice and seated before you really kind of tighten it down and all. Just give it a little bit of a turn just to make sure it's seated well. Now, uh, when you go to change out a hard drive like this, it is on this little tray here. So you're going to have four screws, two on either side, and all you have to do Take a slightly larger screwdriver, and you can actually work on unscrewing all those screws. Because, hey, my hard drive is slow, or it's broken, and I am going to replace it, dang it. Anyways. But yes, so you'll remove these four screws. Do, do, do. Go 
And there we have it. Now this hard drive is free, as you can see there. So once you get your new hard drive, go ahead and pop that back in. Okay. Make sure that the holes are lined up. And I like to go ahead and just get a little bit of a bite on the threads with my fingers, uh, you know, just because I'm able to, but if you can't, stick it on the end of the screwdriver, which I'll show you here in a moment. And just go ahead and snug that in. Like so. Not too terribly tight, just a little bit is fine. And then give like another eighth of a turn once you uh, feel like you've gotten it in there. Now it, uh, it, it is very important to go ahead and align the new hard drive up in the same direction as the old one that you've removed. So in this case, in order to get that on there, stick it on the end of the screwdriver, line it up, and just get right in there. <laughs> Anyways. And again, this is where these little jeweler screwdriver sets come in real handy. You can pick them at Fry's, Micro Center, Best Buy, pretty, pretty much any electronic store is gonna have a, uh, an electronics or jeweler screwdriver set just like this. Then, for your SATA connector, just take it, and this is very important, push it straight on without going up or down, or these uh, little plastic tabs that are right in this area can actually break off, and that, that leads to kind of a messy situation and one that, trust me, you don't want to be in. So push it straight on, it will click, line everything up there and since we already know that we have the bigger screw here it's nice to put that one in first so you don't have to worry about putting that in the wrong place later and then oh well that's fun i dropped a screw hmm. well i shall have to retrieve that in a moment Unfortunately, these, uh, a lot of these screwdrivers are a little magnetized, which is a really nice touch. But anyways, so just go ahead and screw everything back in. And on this one, it's fairly simple. Uh, everything just uh, kind of lines up. It's got these little alignment tabs on either corner there and there. And that makes it a, you know, a good deal easier. All right. And then comes the memory. So you will notice, and again, this just illustrates my point earlier, that right in there, it says DDR3 only. I guess it would help if I actually turn that around to where you can see it. Uh, maybe you can see it. Yeah, there it is. So DDR3 only. They'll tell you what to do. They, they'll, they're pretty good about telling you what they want. <clears throat> Anyways, you will notice a small tab right on the inside here. Right in there. And the same with the top one there. So what you want to do is you want to come down at, you know, about a 30 degree angle and kind of just seat it right in there. Press down until it clicks into place. And there it is. Now, make sure you take your cover, slide it back in, put your screw back in, go for your battery, plug it back in, and go ahead and start it up. So, once again, uh, you know, when installing a new hard drive, you're going to have to reinstall Windows. Uh, not most, uh, most Windows laptops of this age are going to have a key on the bottom, but this one is uh, Windows 8, not Windows 7. Uh, so it's actually specific to hardware, and you should uh, definitely register your uh, copy of Windows to your email account when you first get your computer. Otherwise, you may be a little stuck. Uh, also, too, uh, 
the top slot operates just the same as the bottom slot on the memory. Just line up the tab, 30 degree angle, seat it in firmly, click in, and then you're ready to go. And once again, upgrading your memory and hard drive to an SSD like that is going to give you a considerable speed upgrade uh, when it comes to these laptops. And it's going to help you get a little bit more mileage out of this. Uh, instead of having to go out and spend another four or $500, you, know, you might have to spend you know, 200 to 250 depending on what you end up with. So just as a point of comparison uh, from one co hello uh, from one computer to the other, uh, this is my wife's old computer. You'll see that it has, you know, it doesn't have the exposed screw uh, on the outside. You actually do have to take the battery off uh, in order to actually get to the now to the uh, cover here. Uh, now this one's actually nice because it has uh, the screw is actually retained and it's not going anywhere which is fantastic but, uh, to show show my point you can see how the battery actually covers up where that screw just came from uh, now once again ooh, that says push for some reason I like that uh, but anyways so memory you see nice and easy boop uh, so yep we push that back in down and it's good and this one actually has two separate covers uh, for the memory and wireless unit. And this one actually here is the keyboard retaining screw, which is actually really neat. Uh, I kind of like that in case something happens to your keyboard. You can just replace that really, really quickly. And then here is the retaining screw for, and you know what? I'm going to use the bigger screwdriver because these screws are a little different. Uh, but here's the retaining screw for the hard drive and disk drive. Again, a nice little retaining spring built in there. Ooh, yes. Let's see if we can show you that a little bit better. Uh, so this one's going to be very similar. You have uh, one, two, three screws. So we'll just go ahead and pop those out real quick like. Now these ones are not uh, have no retaining mechanism built in. But again, most of these, uh, especially the PC screws, or, uh, PC screwdriver sets, or uh, small electronic screwdriver sets rather, pardon me. Uh, these are magnetic. So kind of does simplify things a little bit uh, so you see there we got that out and it's got this little tab here that you just pull up a little bit bring everything out which then allows you to separate and pull the SATA connector off and it's as easy as that Now for the disk drive, again, they've made it very, very simple. And it's got a little indicator here that shows a little disk, a little CD. So, a little screw there. You can actually give that a little push if you want, or you just pull on it. And again, this is exactly like the other one. You have a little SATA connector here, the power. It just plugs in and unplugs there. Uh, again, I did point out earlier that the wireless unit, in case, again, you know, the unforeseen happens. And uh, you can actually just go ahead and replace that. And it's just these two little guys here, two screws. And these just actually pop off. They're little, little uh, retaining connectors that just plug right in there. And that's your wireless unit. And then it just pops out uh, almost identically to the memory units. So... Let's go ahead and uh, reassemble this one back real quick. And uh, I'm just going to speed this up here.
And so there you have it, boys and girls. Uh, that's how you would get to the uh, removable internals of your older laptop. Go ahead and swap those components out and hopefully see some nice performance gains and get a little bit more mileage out of that old machine. Save a little bit of money in the long run. And yeah, so that's that. So if you like this video, let me know. Smash that like button. And if you like this type of video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel because this is the kind of thing you can expect. Uh, otherwise, uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you liked, didn't like about it, or just let me know your thoughts on the, on the issue. Or you can even ask me a question down there and I'll be sure to get back to you. You can also message me uh, on Twitter at, at driven, D-R-I-V-N underscore tech. And you can find me on Twitch from time to time streaming. And I'm going to do my best to try and stream this kind of material to Twitch in the near future. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.